So let me give you three questions that you can use to help test your theories. Number one, it's Karl Popper's question. And it's after lunch, a Friday afternoon, and all of a sudden people's eyes perked up, and what I saw was, who is Karl Popper? And what might his question be? Well, Karl Popper was the 20th century's premier philosopher of science. You're going, wow, philosophy of science helping me make a decision? I don't think so. But here's Karl Popper's chief insight. Karl Popper argued, and he believed that um, science, this whole edifice that we've been working on since Newton, science and the scientific method at the end of the day actually couldn't prove anything true. True. There was no such thing for Karl Popper as scientific truth. Kind of an interesting thing. But what Popper said on the flip side, what science is really good at is helping us determine what's false. So there may be no such thing as scientific truth, but there's a whole lot of scientific falsehood. And how do we figure out what isn't true? Well, we design an experiment and we find a piece of data. It's called the critical data that allows us to test a hypothesis. So Karl Popper's question is this. What one piece of data would prove my hypothesis wrong? What one piece of data would prove my hypothesis wrong? 